Welcome back to Design Bundles YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Crystal and today we are going to be playing around with the new Cricut Easy Press 3 and I'm going to show you guys a layering hack because this actually gives us like a pre, um, pre setup pre-temp, if you will, pre-heat for five seconds. And I'm going to show you how to utilize that for your layers because we can actually adjust that. Now I'm using Caesar uh, Easy Weed today. So we actually want like a two second tack down in between and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to show you guys, if you purchase the new Cricut Easy Press 3, whichever size model you have, I'm going to be using the nine by nine, but I'm going to show you guys how to custom set those settings. All right. So we have already opened up the app here for the Cricut. So this is the Cricut Heat. Everything I'm using today as well is linked down below. So you can go to start new product project. And if you did, you would actually be choosing from, you know, your Cricut materials. Now, if you were just doing the layers and you just wanted to go through it, you could definitely for Caesar Easy Weed or something similar. You could just use Everyday Iron On. I just chose the mesh. Let me go back. Everyday Iron On. And then this is cotton. So for our, um, for our campus, if you will, it would be 100% cotton. And then it would give us those settings for that. And I can send it over to my phone. But I want to actually set mine to be custom. So what we can do from the beginning of your screen, I'm hopefully you guys can see this without the glare. If you come to the very bottom, it says set custom time and temp. We're gonna click on this. From here, we're gonna go ahead and choose. So say for example, with the Cricut Easy Weed, we actually only need around 315. And then we're gonna actually press it for around 20 seconds total. And so what I'm actually gonna do is preheat my blank. So you can choose to toggle that on or off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it to two seconds. So you can change your preheat settings for um, however much you want to, but those pre preheat settings, I'm actually gonna be using them for the tack down instead of the preheat. So we're using that for our tack down. And then um, you can either flip and press. So we wanna go ahead and add that 15 seconds because we are using the Cricut Easy Press. And so now we're gonna go ahead and send those exact settings to our machine. So you can see it's sending the Bluetooth. So now it's going to tell, so what it needs to do is come down. I actually had my last project was 330. So what it's doing is coming down. So you see that temp starting to come down now. And then we have our preheat at that two seconds. So what you're gonna notice is our phone is sending the signal, it's sending everything over and it's at two seconds. So instead of it being at the five seconds, we have it at two. So what we're gonna do in between each layer, so it'll bring up a screen. So right now it's telling us to preheat. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Let's set this aside. We're going to let it bring it down and we're going to work on this first. Okay, so what I'm working on here is this super cute tank top. This is the design I'm using today and it says, I love my job only when I'm on vacation. I'm using Caesar Easy Weed, except for this one right here. It is Caesar. Um, this is their sparkle. So it looks like glitter, but it's actually the exact same material pretty much as the Caesar Easy Weed, except for it has these specks of glitter in it. It's super smooth. It just looks glittery. So you're able to cut it in the same settings. You're able to heat it in the same settings. So it's super cool. So here's our design here. Our very first layer is going to be that black layer. And then we're going to layer it so on and so forth. So there we have it. It is so, so cute. Okay. So what we want to do is I'm actually going to fold this guy in half to figure out, um, while I have it all layered together, where that center mark is. And we'll figure out where that's going to go. But before we do, we're going to go ahead and preheat. Now, since I have it on that two seconds, I'm not going to use the five second um, tack down because our five second preheat, if you will, because what we're going to do is I'm just going to go over the shirt for five seconds in my head. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to go ahead. I've preheated. I'm pulling out the moisture and I've smoothed everything down. So what we're going to use that two seconds for, like I said, is our tack down layers. So whenever you're doing layers, whenever you are layering HTV, if you will, what you want to do is only do, for example, I've tested it and it is pretty true across the board when it comes to Caesar with their easy weed that it's a two second tack down in between layers. Whenever you use Cricut brand, I have found I need five seconds. So you could leave your little five second uh, preheat timer alone. You don't have to mess with it. So you could go to those uh, Cricut um you're, you can go to your Cricut settings just as normal and leave that five seconds alone and do the exact same thing, okay? So now that we are ready, we're going to go ahead and line this little cute guy up right here. This is going to make a perfect tank for the summer. Like I said, everything I'm using today is linked down below. And then we're going to go ahead and pull off all of these other layers. Now, why do we do a two-second tack down? Why are we not going fully with the entire... Um, 
say for example, 20 seconds, because what you'll happen is it'll get shrinkage. So in between those layers, it's going to separate. So it, little pieces are gonna become smaller and they're not gonna fit the exact way they're supposed to. So that's why you don't wanna fully heat them and you wanna do two seconds at a time. That last layer is the one that we do the full 20 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever it is. All right, so here we go. So what we're gonna do is, as you can see, we've got two seconds. But as soon as I take this down here, I'm gonna hit go. It's going to fit perfectly on top of my design here. We're gonna lift it. Now you're gonna notice that it's changed to that 20 seconds, but I wanna keep that two seconds. So what do we do? We're gonna go back and I can say, back it up again. And you can see where it's back on preheat and it's changed it back to the two seconds. I just hit the back button. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and peel this. We did that two seconds. This little guy wanted to go with us. So we're gonna be nice and easy because keep in mind in these tack down layers, these are not 100% committed to the t-shirt. This just allows us to layer them on top of each other nicely. All right, so now what we're gonna do is set that guy out of the way because we're gonna bring it back in in just a second. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna line this guy up and try to find that placement. I'll have to come back in because I think I got a few pieces out of whack earlier. So what I'm gonna do here is move these pieces out of the way and we're gonna line up this next one. So for the next one here, I'm gonna go ahead and line up this guy. I can tell from his neck here and his legs, see how those legs just lined up nicely. So here we go. So what we need to do is go back on top. All right, so now we're gonna go back on top of that bigger piece. So you wanna keep that piece, like I said, we got that two seconds again. So I can go back on here, hit go. One, two, you're good. Oop, I hit it again. <laughs> Let me hit it again. I almost messed that up. Once again, I've got more layers. So we're gonna go back in here, hit the back button. It's gonna take it back for us to that two second mark. See what I'm talking about? I'm absolutely obsessed. So this is going to be perfect to keep you from, something I run into all the time is I overheat. So I say that I want to do two seconds. I end up going five seconds and longer and longer. And that's where you're going to end up getting those to not line up. All right. So I'm excited about this little hack. You guys let me know down below. Give me some hearts. Give me a thumbs up on this video. If you guys have found it helpful, you can also share it um, so with some other crafters. If you guys know somebody that may um, find this useful or in between layers. All right, so I think that's going to go there nicely. So we're going to go ahead and do that one. And then we're going to go ahead and come back in here. Now, for our last two layers here in a second, I should be able to get them at the same time. If nothing is overlapping, you can lay those down at the same time. Okay, so what we're doing is same thing. I'm going right back on top of that area. I'm hitting one, two. We're done. We're lifting. And then we're going to carefully peel this guy up here. Take off this one. I'm just so, so excited. It's the small things in life. You know, I know a lot of us that sit here and we're like, do we really need this? Now, you may not find this, you know, if you already have the Cricut Easy Press 2, um, is it worth the upgrade just to have the little deal? It may not be to you. Um, or it may be if you're just now getting into it. I would go straight for the Cricut Easy Press 3 because what's going to happen as soon as they're sold out of the Cricut Easy Press 2, they're going to quit making them. So, um, but does it make it where it's not going to work for somebody that already has it? No, but you may find it helpful um, if you decide that you want to upgrade later. But your Cricut Easy Press 2 is still just as good. You do not have to upgrade is what I'm trying to say. But if you are just now getting in the market, you may want to go ahead and go straight for that um, Cricut Easy Press 3. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to get those two pieces at the same time. Because once again, as long as they're not overlapping, you can actually place down more than one. So this is our very last layer. So for this one, I'm going to go for that full 20 seconds. So I don't need to go backwards this time. We're going to go on top. We're going to hit go. And so, like I said, this time we're going to do the entire full 20 seconds. We're just going to go ahead and hold it down the whole time. So you're going to give yourself a little bit of pressure. Now, the next step is it's going to change itself. You're going to notice it, it'll go from that 20 seconds to the 15 seconds because it's going to tell us to flip it over. So we're going to move this. And once again, you notice that it moved to the 15 seconds. And if you go back to your phone, you're going to have the instructions to tell you to flip it. But once you have your phone and you already know um, and you're starting to use it over and over, you don't need your phone to, to look at for in between the layers. You're going to know two seconds, 
20 seconds, 15 seconds, etc. You will need your phone to go backwards like I've taught you, but I really hope that you guys have found this trick helpful today. I am so excited about it. All right, so it looks like on the hat, I overlapped here just a smidge. So what I'm doing is I stretch that guy out and we're gonna press that little guy one more time. Get this out of here. Just in that one little area with his hat. So what happened is I accidentally did overlap just a smidge on his hat. And so I'm able to just go back and quickly tack that down. There we have it. So look at those layers. I did not have any of those layers shrink down at all. So everything nestled in between nicely. So I'm super excited. So that is playing around with the new Cricut Easy Press 3. Now we have the 15 seconds here. So we are going to flip it over and we are going to press one more time. So here we go. So 15 more seconds. So you guys let me know in the comments below, did you guys purchase one of these? Are you guys planning on purchasing them? If you own the Cricut Easy Press 2, I'm curious to know if you're going to upgrade um, or not. So like I said, I'm super excited and we have tons more tutorials using this guy. And when I find more little hacks, we will definitely bring those to you. So how super cute is this? See that little bit of glitter there on his little um, floaty just really makes it pop. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.